What's going on YouTube? What's going on MAC? Just want to say what's up to everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Uh, I got a fish room here. I've been farting around at this weekend, prepping for some jobs this week. Uh, this is one of my display tanks here with African cichlids. Um, my name's Keith, by the way, from Out of the Blue Aquariums here in Toronto. And I do uh, aquarium maintenance, so I get to get my hands in a lot of people's tanks and stuff, which is kind of cool. I get to see lots of different uh, different displays and stuff, which I get a, get a kick out of. Anyways, uh, I'll give you guys a quick look around the shop, and uh, sh feel free to shoot me a message. Let me know what you think. So these guys are all uh, mostly Mbunas that uh, were bullies in other tanks, and they got sent here. I used to use it as like a grow out, but... Uh, it was too hard to get them out of this tank with all the uh, the holes in the background and everything like that. So, still one of my favorite tanks. I use the uh, current satellite light on this as well too. Kind of cool to play with the colors and everything. That's that. Let me take you guys inside and show you around real quick. This is my space here. This is just like a little uh, industrial unit that I work out of. I got a, a 90 gallon here that I'm prepping for a client this week with the 3D background right there. And for another client, this stand, I'm going to paint white and give it like a distressed look. I got some used tanks over here, more backgrounds, um, low tech planted tanks right here, another 3D background. This has got like a slimline background in there. I was just lucky with these uh, tetras, they just were breeding, so I just decided to keep this tank up and going. Um, keep my hoses and ladders and stuff over here, usually my bike and everything as well. Lots of towels. Uh, I got a frag tank here that I use for, uh, for frag swaps that we hold at the shop here. We do like a barbecue event and people uh, all over the GTA can bring in corals from their tanks, sell them out here and stuff. and. Uh, get everybody together for a barbecue sometimes play some cards here on the workbench Whatever, you know, just uh, just mess around It's a good opportunity to give back to the community and stuff like that. That's what this is all about, right? So uh, Keeping people happy and successful in the hobby, you know what I mean? Uh, I always preach the keep it simple sort of approach, but uh, you know to each their own uh, a lot of saltwater fanatics out there I like the simplicity of freshwater tanks, but again, you know, I who doesn't love a nice saltwater tank, right? I got a few of them here. I'll show you this is uh, one that a client actually gave me that was uh, moving and couldn't take the tank with him. So he basically gave me this setup and I just keep my cleaning crews and stuff in here. I let the algae and stuff grow. This is my Red Sea Reefer. Uh, I had actually crashed this tank once before, filling it up with cold water. Uh, and all the fish and coral that are in here now were from a client who couldn't take care of the tank anymore. So uh, I rehomed all these guys. I've been keeping them here. Uh, even with the coral and the salt water, I still, you know, I, I keep preaching the keep it simple stuff. You know, I like the stuff that grows like weeds. Don't really try to get into the SPS too much, right? You just end up making a lot more work for yourself. And this tank gets dirty on the regular, so I try not to make more work for myself than is absolutely necessary. Uh, quarantine tanks. So I get all my livestock here, saltwater livestock here at uh, wholesale. I try not to keep too much in here at once, but uh, if a client needs something, I keep it for uh, a week or two, make sure that it's eating properly, it's healthy. Some damsels and stuff in there, and I got some chromis down there. Um, storage in the back there. This is uh, another 3D background tank. I got three Oscars and uh, two Viejas in here as well too. I love this tank. I, I played around with a uh, misting system and like a living wall. Trying to see which, uh, which kind of plants grow best in this sort of application. And I got uh, Kessels mounted up there as well too. I love those lights, really good. A TV in here so I can watch some movies or play some video games while I'm cleaning tanks. This is my Biopod Aqua 2. Still just waiting for everything to grow in here. I love these things. I'd like to see more of those. Uh, my bathroom where I clean decorations and do all my water changes. This is my paludarium style setup here. I'd love to do more of these. I get a kick out of these sort of setups, right? I don't even keep fish in here. 
And this has got a uh, fogger on here. I got some uh, hydrocodyl, lots of ferns, pothos, uh, different types of reeds and grass. Kind of playing around. That's an Amazon sword that's growing out of the water. I'm trying to get the moss to really take off in here. I got a kick out of these displays. This is probably the best thing to do with uh, like an older tank. If you weren't sure it was going to hold water very much or whatnot, this would be a great way to, to change it up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a message. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Take care.